Hello and welcome to our tutorial of the Microsoft Paint program. The Microsoft Paint program is a digital sketchbook and a picture manipulator. With the Microsoft Paint program you can draw pictures as well as edit photos. Microsoft Paint comes standard if you have the Windows operating system or is free for download from the Microsoft website. If you have the Windows operating system, to find Microsoft Paint, start at the Start menu. As the menu drops down, go to All Programs. You want to scroll down until you get to the Accessory folder. Click that. As the folder opens up, you'll see the Microsoft Paint program. As you click on it, it opens up and this is what it looks like. To show you the features of Microsoft Paint, I'm going to design a company logo. We're going to start by selecting one of the shapes, an oval. We're going to use the cursor to expand it to the size we want. We're going to click on the size feature right here and we're going to increase the size of our line. We're going to use one of the larger lines right here. Next what we're going to do is we're going to select the color. We have red, we have indigo, and we have green. And We're going to select green. As you notice in color one, that's the color we're going to select and I want to bring in a quick point right here before we move on. Microsoft Paint builds in layers. So you want to make sure that you finish one function before you move on to the next because you're going to be building on it. So now that we have our green color selected for our line, we're going to fill in the blank space inside our oval. We're going to select yellow. Here we know we've selected yellow because that's color one. We fill in the shape. Next, we're going to add some text. So we click on the A in the box. Our text box opens up and we have these other features. We're going to select a larger font. 72 is what's offered, so we're going to select 72. We want our lettering to be the same color as our border, so we're going to select green. We're going to type in the word lawn care. And it's not large enough, so we're going to center it and we're going to change our font to 90. We're going to just type that in and we're going to get everything centered. Now we're going to embolden the text, give it a better look. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out some of this white space, going to cut out some of the extra space around there by using a rectangular selection and we're going to crop this. Okay. Now that we have our box around it, we're going to click the crop button and that'll move all the excess white space around there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save our project. As we click down, we go to the save as. Now you have several different file types that you can save as. You have the PNG, which is portable network graphics. This is supposed to be the highest quality. The JPEG is next. This is pretty much the standard. And you have the BMP, which is a lower quality. Uh, pretty much good for like, you know, quick little icons. And you have the GIF picture, which is pretty much one of the lowest qualities. And they have other formats. And pretty much what we're going to use is just a JPEG. That's standard. Okay, the save menu pops up. We want to change the name to Lawn Care Logo. We're going to save that. And if you notice at the top of the project, it now shows the save name. And we're going to try one more feature. Uh, we'll want to fill in all this white space right here and we're going to use the fill feature we're going to use black and we're going to try to okay all right um it's not filling in correctly and this is what i was speaking about earlier that microsoft paint builds in layers but it gives me a great opportunity to show you the back button uh the undo button you click this undo button up here and you can remove this error and we can get the project back to an earlier state that should allow us to, yes, fill it in without any of errors coming in there. Okay, we finished with our project. You see we've made our company logo and now what we're going to do is show you how to close out the program. We're going to hit our old school floppy disk up here to save the program one last time. You want to go ahead and click this menu right here either hit exit or hit this exit button at the top of the page in summary we've learned some of the general features of Microsoft Paint of how to 
design a shape, how to resize that shape, how to change the color, the feel, the text, how to save, how to undo an error, and how to crop. That's the end of our tutorial. There'll be more to come. Thanks.